A new Tales from the Trenches episode starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin McKegg. I am a real estate broker here in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video, I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and follow me on social media so we can stay in touch there. For all of you who have already subscribed, thanks for coming back every week and watching these videos. I gotta be honest with you guys though, I had planned to do a neighborhood tour and a home tour today for the video and unfortunately I had some tech issues that I could not overcome and this is the backup plan okay but it's still a good one I promise I'm going to share some good information today and I know you all love hearing the tales from the trenches so where do we start let me tell you about how challenging this market has been since January 1st. I, I have been surprised and taken aback at how challenging it's been to work with buyers right now. And not to say it hasn't been before, but just since the beginning of the year, the competition has been really fierce. And I think a lot of that is because so many people start to think, new year, I'm ready to go, let's see what's out there on the market, let's buy a house and start this year off right, and the fact of the matter is there isn't a lot on the market. And so we're kind of experiencing a feeding frenzy on these homes, especially if they're beautiful, highly sought after homes in various areas of Phoenix, and the competition is rough. So this past weekend, myself and the Desert Dreamers team wrote a total of five offers for five different clients. And you guys, we were 0 for 5. And that doesn't happen often. My clients were all writing really, really competitive offers, going over the list price, waiving their appraisal contingency, offering post-possession, um, waiving inspections even or taking as is so there was uh we were pretty surprised by these changes one of the offers in fact was a cash offer and we lost to a financed offer that rarely happens so all i'm trying to say is it's crazy out there right now but here is the downside of waiting Interest rates are going up, right? So we've all been hearing that that's going to happen this year. It's already started to happen. And wanted to share a little stat that I uh, that I learned that I thought was pretty interesting to put into perspective how much interest rates really affect your affordability. So let's say you're going to buy a house for $300,000. In this market, that's rare. But for the sake of example, let's just say 300000 so if your interest rate is at 3% and you can afford the payment for a $300,000 house, that's great. But if interest rates go up to 3.5%, so they go up by half a point, and you still want to buy that same house or you still want to have that same payment, your house value would have to be, you'd have to be looking for a house at 280,000. So it's a $20,000 difference on a $300,000 house if interest rates go up by half a point. In other words, half a point can change your purchase price by about 6% and a whole point can change your purchase price by about 13%. So what you could afford on a monthly basis um, at a certain interest rate, if it goes up by half a percent, you are looking at a very different monthly payment. So I know that's a little bit confusing, but just keep in mind as interest rates climb, even by something as it sounds small, half a percent, it really changes your buying power if you're trying to stay within a particular monthly payment. So that is the cost of waiting. Even though this market is treacherous right now, it's going to be more expensive to buy the same kind of home, especially only if you're financing, 
um, you know, in this scenario, but uh, if you continue to wait. So something to keep in mind, I uh, definitely uh, don't want to push anyone to jump into this feeding frenzy right now, but if you have reason to buy a house at the moment, we can definitely get it done. It's just highly competitive, and we're all keeping our fingers crossed for more inventory to come on the market because once that happens, that is going to ease this uh, intense competition a little bit. So keep your fingers crossed. And for all of you sellers out there, if you're on the fence, let's talk. We desperately need more homes to sell. And I probably have a buyer for you. So thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, the description below has a link to reach out to me or set up a time to chat. But it also has a link for an instant home valuation if you're just curious of what your home value could be if you sold. And there's a link to search my MLS if you're a home buyer. So thanks for bearing with me with an impromptu video this week. I appreciate all of you and I will see you next week. I'm Caitlin McKegg with the Desert Dreamers team at HomeSmart.